Christian Lowe here with the Brewer Media Group. Today I'm interviewing a friend and also a fellow colleague with the city of Chattanooga. He is doing great things. And today we're going to talk about the Chattanooga City Camps, summer camps that is. So hello, Chris Brown. How are you, Donna? I'm good. good to see you again. It also is kind of odd to interview and shake hands with a friend, you know. know. But uh, first of all, I'm just glad to have you here. Glad to have yeah. the city of Chattanooga represented here at Brewer Media. We love the partnership. Absolutely. But you're here today to talk about something near and dear to your heart yes. and my heart, which is the city of Chattanooga summer camps. Yes. But we're going to go back to some history first. Got okay. to. All right. You were actually a, what do you call it, a camper? I was a camper. You were a camper. Then you were a counselor. Yes. So you kind of know what we're talking about, right? Yes. Yes. Started out uh, when I was six years old at mm-hmm. the uh, North Chattanooga uh, was Recreation Center at the time. It's now Community Center. Okay. But uh, uh, just remember all the, the great memories. And then uh, when I was 13, was able to start volunteering and then transition over into working. So that's I how love I that. Got my start. Now, your official title is the director of Community Centers. Community Centers. That's yes. pretty easy. Yes. Right. So, but I also love that you kind of know what you're talking about. Yeah. You know, there's nothing worse than working with someone that hasn't been there, done Absolutely. that, but you have. And you've got several t shirts. Yes. So, let's get into the who, where, why, when, what. Yeah. Um, I was surprised to learn that any child, teenager, can go to these camps, yeah. right? Yeah. So, the camps right now that we have are 6 to 12. Okay. Um, and we've got a couple of slots that are still open in our city. Uh, we are doing a go live media camp. Okay. Um, and it is it is pretty pretty booked at this mm-hmm. point. Uh, now, what do you mean we, by go live? So it's a go live media camp. So uh, folks that want to learn radio, want to do music, what we're do doing graphics, right here, exactly. Love it. Um, we we hosting that. We've got a couple of uh, uh, colleagues and representatives who specialize in mm-hmm. those types of programming, and so mm-hmm. we're really excited to be offering that to some of our teens. Love it. But as it relates to our youth, uh, like I said, we've got this summer camp yes. that we're kind of re-energizing. You know, with the COVID pandemic, we're really yes. trying to trying to get back to uh, the kids been in school all year. And everything's in person. And you know yeah. the old saying, you don't need to let your kids do nothing. That's, That's right. when trouble happens, right? That's right? So what kind of things, before we talk about the cost and all of yeah. that, what kind of things can we expect for those kids who are 12 yeah. to what age? Uh, six no, to 12. Six to 12, excuse yeah. me. Six to 12. What can we expect them to be able yeah. to do? So they're going to be a lot of different enrichment programs. Okay. Uh, they're going to be swimming. They're going to be doing arts and crafts. They're going to be it. doing a lot of these programs that, that are really going to keep them mm-hmm. learning throughout the year. But it's not really like learning, right? Mm-hmm. But Having learning fun. is still an important part of mm-hmm. the, the summer curriculum. So we just want to have these safe places for mm-hmm. our youth to be during the summer because you can get them out of the house. Well, key words are safe. And you know what I like, too, and some people don't look at this aspect, yeah. Chris, but it's a social aspect Absolutely. as well. You know, those are the critical ages where you're learning who you yeah. are, what you want to be. Right. Um, and you're a good example of you yeah. can't be what you can't see. Well, That's you right. saw something and now you're literally living that life. Yes. So I, as a talker and a type A, love the social aspect. Yes. Um, so let's talk about cost because when you told me $25, $25, that wouldn't even feed my kid for an hour. I tell you. And we feed them too. So yeah. they get lunch. So they what all lunch. comes with that? They get the activities. So they get the, they get the breakfast, lunch, and we're doing a, a Can snack. I sign up? I, I wish I could sign up again, right? <laughs> so they're doing breakfast, lunch, and an mm-hmm. optional snack, and it's uh, through the YMCA, mm-hmm. through a grant. And so uh, it's it's totally free for the yeah. child. $25. $25. Well, shout summer. out to the YMCA. The yes. city of Chattanooga has a, has a great relationship Absolutely. that I've been aware of for a long time. Uh, but let's talk about something else real quick, mm-hmm. sidetrack. So this has been supported and endorsed by the new mayor. He's yeah. really not new anymore. He's no, a year on. But it had to be an endorsement yeah. or something that he felt like was important yes. to continue. And yeah. so he did. So how does he feel about all of this? Well, I think it's it's really, it's as part of the one Chattanooga vision that the mayor mm-hmm. has. It's transitioning what we would call a youth and family development centers yes. into those community centers, right? Yeah. And so in looking at that, the community centers are more of taking a community centric type yes. programming, right? Yes. So you can go to the community center and get any kind of assistance that you need. So as, as in my new position, mm-hmm. that's kind of what my job is. And as far as my co-director is, is looking at ways of how do we make that community center yeah. pop in those areas? Absolutely. So we're doing a lot of different things. We're doing community advisory committees. We're doing the summer programming and mm-hmm. all types of new and innovative programming that really brings the community out. I love that. Well, one of the questions I try to think as a mom in this interview. Yeah. So one of the questions I know people are going to have, okay, well, I live in the Harrison area or I live in Red Bank yeah. or I live in Hickson and the areas we have right now available are? Those are so the, the yeah. areas so that because we have. Can they go to those areas? They can. Even if they don't live in absolutely. that community? Absolutely. Nice. Absolutely. Um, I we like wish that. we could have our areas spread out right. in all of us, but 
but we, we do have a couple that are sprinkled across town. Okay. So, yeah, don't feel, hey, if I live in the county, can I come to this? Absolutely. That is great. You Absolutely. know, and again, it's access, giving yes. access to people and meeting them where they are. Absolutely. So I know people are going to see this and say, okay, wait a minute, I've got to get my kids signed right. up. So, again, the ages are 6 to 12. 6 to 12. $25. $25. And you're going to give us a place to go to a website? Yes. What is that? You're going to go to Chattanooga.gov, mm-hmm. navigate to the department tab, and go on to Community Development, okay. and then Community Centers. Wonderful. Uh, we'll have our application that's there. Awesome. You can print off that application, go to the local community center, mm-hmm. pay your $25, and you're good to go. You know, I was at the Avondale Center not too long ago, yeah. and I know you Gerald. heard I gave some feedback, but yeah. you know, the people are so nice there at yeah. all the different centers, Absolutely. and they really love their jobs. So yeah. give us that website one more time. Chattanooga.gov, navigate to the department tab on the community development, mm-hmm. community centers, all the information is right there. Awesome. So you have been talking with Chris Brown, the director of community centers and with the city of Chattanooga. So remember, get your kids signed up today. Camp goes all summer long. All summer. And if you want to know more, you can go to brewermediagroup.com. For now, I'm Donna Christian Lowe with the Brewer Media Group, and we're out.